Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In today's live video broadcast, it is Coffee with Tish. So good morning to y'all in the States. I've got my coffee here. Yo, I got something floating in my coffee. <laughs> oh, that's just the the, the the crema or whatever it is floating on top. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great start to your day. And if you're over in the UK or parts yonder, I hope you're having a good day. Um, today, I want to kind of go over um, mixing colors um, and trying to get a look that you want to achieve. Um, cause this is something that a lot of people struggle with. Color theory is a completely different monster. Um, you know, knowing what colors go well with others, complimentary to Sherry and all those things. Um, and that's something that if people are interested in, we can go over. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, if you are watching this on the replay or let me know in chat, um, if that's something you'd like to go over. Um, it's done a thousand times on the internet, um, you know, Google it, but um, sometimes it helps to have someone answer questions and, you know, break it down into bite-sized pieces. So, um, you know, if you ever have a question on acrylic pouring or on anything related to YouTube or anything like that, let me know. This is the morning that I would be doing that because we're here for the beginners in YouTube, beginners and artists, uh, you know, acrylic pouring, um, fluid art. Um, if we have a lot of questions on resin, I might be able to bring someone that's a lot more well-versed on resin, um, have them come in and help us out or on um, alcohol inks or something like that. So just this is our beginner's time and because we all start at zero, y'all. You know, no one comes out of the womb perfect. I'm sorry, it just doesn't happen. We all come out crying and screaming and hungry. <laughs> you know, that's probably why we talk about food all the time because that's like in our brains since birth. So, um, anywho, um, lost my train of thought because I started thinking, hey, I haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> Oh, bother. All right. Let's see who's in the chat. Good morning, y'all, says Gina Bina. Hello, Chelsea. Great to see you here. Good morning, Doris. Do, 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 do. Sorry, chat is going a little crazy. <laughs> still on my first cup, so still waking up. Yep. I get up at 6 o'clock, so I, this is my second cup. First cup went down like faster than water. So, yes. Good morning, El Spicy. Good morning, Lee. So wonderful to see you. Awesome, awesome. So, this <laughs> mayonnaise jar that I have here. Okay, hang on one second. I forgot I restarted my computer. Um... This, this mayonnaise jar that I have in my hand here is actually um, because I didn't have, um, I didn't have enough um, paste color in one, um, in one tube. So I took like a bunch of different colors together and got an ounce, you know, an ounce or two of paint and then mix it with Floetrol. So when you have just that little bit, like a half an ounce at the bottom of a, of a tube, I usually save those tubes. I know I'm weird. Um, I save those tubes and then I'll combine them all together and get some really cool colors. And this is a custom kind of corally peach that I've got here. So um, I'm going to give it a shake up and we're going to put it, because this jar is so big, <laughs> That's what she said. Um, we are going to um, put it in a cup here so it's a little bit easier to manage. And then whatever we don't use, I will put it in. Uh, I could have put this in a bottle, but when I think mixed it, it was like this full and it wasn't going to fit into a bottle. So we got that. And I need to use that up. So that's why we're using it. Um, but this is a little... It is a really pretty color. So I'm not normally a pink person, but this isn't quite pink. It's coral, sort of, peach. 
Okay, so what we're really going to get down to, here's the brass tacks we're going to get down to, y'all, is I want to use a metallic, but I don't want it to be this blue. I want it to be more this blue. So I picked it out. This is a semi-opaque. This is uh, Master's Touch Lake Blue. I mixed it three to one um, with Floetrol. Um, I don't add water to my paints until I'm using them on a canvas. Um, just my personal preference because it works for me. Um, you do what you like. You experiment until you find what works for you. So um, I, I, I mix it with Floetrol until I get a trace of about three. And when I say a trace of three, I mean when you take your, your stick, your shtick, and you run it across the top of the paint and watch the paint disappear into the top of the paint that you're pouring it into. And it takes about three seconds for it to dissipate and you don't see the line anymore. So um, most of the paints in the bottles are actually a three to a four. Um, and that's just Floetrol and paint. And sometimes for like heavy body paints, or not sometimes, all the time for heavy body paints, I will use a pouring medium whether that is a base paint or um, Liquitex paint. Whoop, I'm bumping stuff today. I rearranged today and now it's like not wanting to stay. There we go. Okay, fine, do that way. Um, like I've got this too, the gloss medium from Windsor & Newton. I'll use those as a pouring medium. I'll mix some equal parts and then dilute it with Floetrol. So that's how I do my paints. Um, everybody kind of has their own way of doing things. Hang on, this light is shining right in my face. There we go. Maybe. Come on, Bessie. Come on, be a good Bessie. <laughs> okay, don't be a good Bessie. Okay, we're going to move this back. I was playing with my lights this morning, and now it just wants to be a pill. So, here we go. You go ahead and be a pill right over there. There we go. All right. <laughs> Well, in the morning, it's so hard because I do have daylight that comes through my sliding glass door. And I do have a, a full wall in between. So it's like I get some daylight and some not. And then my camera is like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, um, yes, <laughs> it's, it's just kind of crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake these guys up and look at chat. Hello, Brookie Cookie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, little miss. Good morning, Jay. So we're going to shake these up. And I don't know if you, this is the Deco Art Sapphire. I mix it five parts paint to four parts Floetrol. And I'm going to do just a little bit in here. Just a like a so. And then I want to lighten that sapphire up. I still want to have the effect of the paint. That's why I went with a, a semi, um, this is a semi-transparent, semi-opaque, um, because I want to lighten it up. I don't want to take away the, the whole blue. I got water on my, my water bottle is sweating and I had it sitting there. So anywho, So um, I lightened it up just a little tiny bit. I'm going to put a little bit more in there of the light blue. So I want to lighten it up just that little bit more. I want this to be the light, light color. These two, the light colors. And then I've got uh, Windsor Newton Crimson, um, my favorite color, Dioxazine Purple from Liquitex Basics. I've got Master's Touch Raw Umber. Um, I was watching Tracy this morning. Um, well, it's late night for her over there in Australia, and she had brown in her painting. And I'm like, I need to add brown to my painting because brown is the new black, right? <laughs> well, that's what I'd like to think anyways. I like I like brown. People are like, ew, brown is mud. Brown is dirt. I'm like, dude, if you, we didn't have dirt, you wouldn't have food. Okay, so that's much lighter and brighter. And I'll still have some of that metallic effect from it. And it's really thick. So we're going to add a little bit of Floetrol and water mix to it. 
Sorry, I was counting. <laughs> I can't count and do stuff at the same time. So this is my flow trial and water mix if you're new to the channel. First off, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, but um, I take water and I rinse out my flow trial bottles. I put like, I don't know, a pound of water, which is an eighth of a gallon because <laughs> a gallon of water weighs eight pounds. Don't ask me how I know that because I just do. Um, <laughs> when you're a baker and a soap maker and, you know, mad scientist, you learn weird things like that. But um, I rinse out the bottle with, and I do several, like six, seven, eight of them. And then I use that water and mix it 50% Floetrol and water. So that's what's in this bottle. And that's why it looks like hell because I've had this bottle for probably a year now. I've lost the lid to it, so when I'm done with it, I stick a pin, a push pin in there so it has a little ball that seals it off. But there we go. And you usually only need like a half a teaspoon. Um, I usually do like a count of two for a cup of this. I squeeze it for a count of two, and that's enough. So. I might have done a little bit more because it is really thick, but now it's perfect. Okay. So um, I'm going to shake these up. I was thinking we will do a reverse dip because Rookie Cookie had me dreaming about them last night. I really suck at them. So here we're going to be, we're going to be real right here because <laughs> I'm not good at reverse dips at all. So... <laughs> We are going to try <laughs> to do a reverse dip. And I need to find my barrel of white, which is over on the back table. So we have some white background for our little canvas here. And I tightened that up. There you got something on it. Go figure. I think I'm going to need a little bit more than what's in this cup. So we're going to grab we're going to grab the big bucket. Hang on. I've got to unbury it. <laughs> there we go. Grabbing the big bucket and a stick. Okay, so this is actually, I think this is the house paint, but we're going to do this anyway. So we're just going to use this. I didn't label it. I'm kind of trying to guesstimate. So we're going to put a little bit of this in there. Okay, just like that. And then, this is house paint and full troll and a little bit of water for when I do my blooms. Then got this paint which is three parts uh, color place interior paint one part titanium white and two to one flow troll so I grabbed the wrong, wrong one well I gotta mix this two to one to flow troll but I think I'm just gonna put a dollop of this in there and then we'll add flow troll and water so you can see I don't have a real rhyme or reason on how I mix my paint sometimes and that's just because that's actually why I started recording my videos I'm kind of like Karen where I, I didn't want to have to take notes because I still take copious notes when I'm researching something on how to do it um, <laughs> when I was trying to learn how to do bloom pours I was taking so many screenshots that I actually had to delete some of them because it's taking up room on my old phone to the point where my old phone was like, whoa, wait a minute, woman. So, anywho. Well, Chris is here. Good morning, Chris. Yay! Yay! Oh, and Tech for Your Needs is here as well. Awesome, awesome. 
I'm going to add just a little bit of this. And I don't know, I associate um, a lot of other things that I've learned in my life with acrylic pouring. Like, to me, acrylic pouring is a lot like working with royal icing when um, I was going to culinary school. Because it's just about as finicky. Because you can break royal icing. And paint gets that way too. Alright, we need a little bit more full troll and water in here. Alright, there's a booger in there. Say it. There we go. Okay. I'm glad I did that off camera because that looked way inappropriate. <laughs> Lewis, see, I can never remember your name. I know you told me once. <laughs> I got to write that down now I'll re and then I'll remember. See, when I write things down, I remember. That's why I take notes. Because for some reason, the motion of, of putting it on paper... And it can't be, it can't be like typed in. It's got to be like written down. So that's why I'm grateful for my, my note 10 plus, because I write it down on my phone and it still gives me the effect of writing it down and putting it to memory. That's how I learned all the capitals of the United States. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put some white down here and we'll probably torch this because there's a lot of bubbles in here. Okay. we got a little hijacker. All right, you. Put you in the garbage. All right, we're just going to use a stick. And we're just going to spread this out. It's still really thick. Oh, well, that's okay. There we go. Okay, so we're going to see how that blue reacts. Okay, quit dripping. There we go. We're going to torch this real quick. Torch to pop bubbles. Let me take a little ooh, fill in that dot that I took out with my finger. There we go. It's a pretty powerful finger if you can take it out with your finger. Okay, so I'm gonna do just circles. We're going to see how this goes. Actually, we're going to start with the green and then I'm going to put brown around the edge. Well, you do it is here too. Y'all are coming in. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is so awesome. It's great to see you all this morning. Okay, so we're going to start off with a little bit of green. Okay, a lot of bit of green because I like green. And we're just going to put the brown around the edge of it. And drip it in the white paint too, because, you know, that always happens, no matter how careful you are. Okay. And then... I'm going to do some blue. Now, I have both those metallics right on top of each other. I don't know if that was a wise idea, but we'll see what happens. Oh, we're gunky. There we go. Let me do some purple. I'm kind of just having it be kind of wonky. I'm okay with that. 
There we go. Then we're going to do the red. And just for giggles, I'm going to put a little bit of this regular, the regular blue sapphire, just to break up. So you can see the color difference between that one and that one. Um, okay, we're just going to put a little bit of this coral in there. Oops. See? Well, let's make it look like it's supposed to be that way. <laughs> See, that's what happens. If you spill the paint or you do something that's not supposed to be there, you just make it look like it's supposed to be there. That's the wonderful thing about paint. <laughs> Bob Ross, y'all. Bob Ross. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of this lake blue and I'm going to put it behind just like this there then I'm going to take a little bit of the white pour it over the top This is probably why I'm not good at these, is because I probably use way too much paint. And well, thank you for joining us at the Haven. I didn't see who the name on it. I apologize. Uh oh. Who's messing macaroni? <laughs> For those of you new to the channel, macaroni is Brooke's dog. <laughs> Cutest little bugger in the whole wide world, but <laughs> he's a pain in the butt. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just use a napkin because I don't know what happened to my... Oh, there's my plastic wrap. Oh, joy. I found it. Oh, decisions, decisions. Let's do the, yeah, let's do the plastic wrap. Plastic wrap and tape are the bane of my existence. And then you throw in <clears throat> press and seal. I love, I have a love-hate re relationship with press and seal because it is an awesome product. But, you know, really. Okay, here we go. I'm just using cheap dollar store plastic wrap so if you hear I'll, I, I'm doing my best not to cuss at it <laughs> but okay so this is what I do so if I can get the there we go there, come on work with me you gotta beat it into submission I guess so we're just gonna slowly lay it down There we go. And then I'm going to start in the middle and kind of push it out. So if this turns out like hot garbage, you guys know what not to do. See, that's why we do this. <laughs> and if I ever do one of these again, I have to have Brooke come on and and and, and like show us how, because <laughs> she is the mistress of of reverse dips. She's the one that got me into. Um, Payne's gray and reverse dips. So that was almost a year ago. Can you believe it? That's so weird. But um, 
Yes, make sure to check out her channel. I have links for pretty much everybody that comes here in chat. I mean, if I miss somebody, please let me know because I, it's not that I'm rude. <laughs> it's just that, you know, things. I can only think so many things in one day. And it's usually what's for lunch, when's my next cup of coffee, and oh yeah, I need to paint. <laughs> That's pretty much my brain on a daily basis. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to let that sit and see if we have any questions in chat. <laughs> well, hello, Jeff B. Good to see you. Good to see you. And we have, what is it, zero one alley girl? Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to the tribe. Oh goodness, <laughs> macaroni. <laughs> Mistakes are how penicillin happens. Hey, penicillin's a pretty good thing unless you're allergic to it. <laughs> yes, Chelsea. Macaroni is is the cute little Jack Russell Terrier type dog. <laughs> so, what about Rhea? Rhea is in the bedroom taking a nap because she got her breakfast. She inhaled it and now she's curled up into a ball on the bed. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I you know that's one reason why I do go live is because everybody's like, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. And then you guys get to see the hot garbage that I create too. So I'm not perfect. I don't even try to be because perfect would be boring. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so. I'm going to pick up one corner and one corner. I'm going to bring it in the middle. And then another corner, and bring it in the middle. And then another corner, eight, and bring it in the middle. And then we're going to slowly find the center and slowly pull up. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, let's kind of twirl this around. Open that up a little bit. Let's tip it this way, tip it back. We're just going to open this all up. Okay, there is no silicone in this in these paints, but that's that blue deco art stuff. I tell you what, that stuff is phenomenal. I kind of want this to go off the edge like that. And I'm going to bring it back. To the middle and then we're going to bring it this way. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted to do. So also when you're tilting, this has been a hard lesson for me. Find where your paint is at. Because where your paint is at is where 
the paint is going to go. Okay, so we're going to tip it this way. There we go. I think I like it like that. I do, I do. Except for that right there. That's bothering me. Hold the show. Gotta get a rag. <laughs> I, you know, I, some of them I haven't stretched because they're really pretty, but they're really teeny tiny. And I'm like, okay, I need to do something. I need to make it bigger. That's what she said. But, um, so yeah, try, st I, I do pretty much anything and everything to, to play with stuff, especially on a smaller canvas like this. You know, if I don't like it, I'll go back and, and change it. Okay. Now. Tip this off. There. We're gonna. I'm gonna grab my thingamabob. <laughs> yes, that's a technical term, thingamabob. Okay, I put the wrong lid on that. That was not good. Bad juju tish. Okay, I'm gonna grab the skewer. And oh, that's got a lot of paint on it. Hang on. <laughs> I inspired the queen. Yes. I feel like my day is complete. <laughs> that voicing is so awesome. <laughs> my favorite, though. My favorite. I snorted. You snorted. <laughs> every time. Every time. <laughs> See? It makes me snort every time. Okay, so I want to bring some of this color down and through. There we go. And I want to bring some of this color. Down and through. One more on this side. Well, that didn't go like I wanted. Let's go back. Okay. Too much coffee, y'all. I'm shaking. <laughs> okay, so let's go with this guy right here. Pull him through. Bring him out. And you can see that when I do my wispies, I don't stop. I keep dragging it and let the paint pull itself off. Um, you'll find that the wispies are more natural looking that way. I guess if, if not, you know, wispies are natural. Okay, I don't like this cell right here. So we're gonna open him up, bring him through. There we go. And I'm not quite down all the way to the bottom, like the canvas level. I like, I go down to the canvas and then I lift up just ever so slightly. So we're gonna bring this guy, we're gonna bring him through. Okay, my arm just stuck to my table right there. there. I'm gonna do one right here. Well, thank you, Sherry68, for joining the Artist Haven Tribe. I appreciate you. I'm going to do one right here. 
just like that because that cell looked kind of wonky right there okay maybe one right here too and yes wonky is a technical term all right <clears throat> Ooh, that's pretty a little bloody <laughs> hang on hang on hang on i'm gonna see something Well, there's an idea. Next time I'll have to put paint on it, though. <laughs> That's kind of fun. That's really busy, but that's really fun. Okay, what I just did. <laughs> I did it off camera, kind of. Sorry. But that's kind of fun. <laughs> that was actually very satisfying to make. <laughs> All right, let's put that back over there. Because that's not where we're going for. We're going to go for the torch because fire. Is Lee still here? I need my torch points. Popping bubbles. Getting the paint to move a little bit. Okay. That's good enough. Let's make sure we got white on all the corners. Because sometimes when you do these, you lift up the paint. And so actually, this being a little bit thicker of paint, I think it might have helped a little bit. So, yeah, let's go with it. Okay, beautiful. I'll bring it in for a close up here. Well, hello, Trey. Good to see you, sweetheart. All right. So I like it like this. So I'm going to show it off like this. I apologize for the lights. Like I said, it's hard to light wet paint. And I've been messing with my lights, trying to get it to cooperate. Oh, hang on. Let's do this, because I can. Made my table a little bit darker, but now you'll be able to see this a little bit better. So, you can see the layers of color in there. And now all that blue is, is metallic. And the green is metallic. And the green is underneath that blue, a little bit under everything. And then that brown is just, just enough to add that contrast. So think outside the box, y'all. Mix your own colors. Play, okay? It's okay. We're grown-ups, and we're allowed to play. Anybody who tells you different, you, tell, you send them to me because creativity is good for your soul. It's also very good for your mental health. And this was so much fun that I'm probably gonna do another one. <laughs> Off camera though. Well, I'll probably record it because I record everything. That's why Frank is mad at me right now because I'm going through and deleting a bunch of stuff. And he's like, why are you taking away my friends? <laughs> Well, hello, Michael. Good to see you, too. Awesome. Awesome. I'm sorry my hands are full of paint, so I don't want to handle my mouse too much. <laughs> oh, anyway. Uh-oh. Yes, Frank is my PC for those that are new to the channel. <laughs> Frank is named after Frankenstein's monster because he was put together by uh, various parts and pieces from other computers. <laughs> um, he does have a new hard drive, though. So, yes, I put that in myself, and I'm very proud of that fact. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> um, let's see. I'll get my hand a little bit cleaner here. There we go. So... For those of you who are new, thank you for joining us today. And if you're enjoying the vibe and want to join our little Artist Haven tribe, all you got to do is click subscribe. We go live six days a week. 
And tomorrow night is one of my favorite nights of the whole week. I'm putting it in the chat right now. It is Friday Night Flip Cup with my pal, my bestie, my favorite person, Miss Brooke from Brooke G Artistry. We have laughs, we make paintings, and it's also the night of a thousand snorts. So you got to come on over, say howdy, and laugh with us and art with us. And it's just a grand old time. So with that being said, smash that like button, share this video out. Have a great, fantastic, wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. I am grateful for you. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.